All right, dear everyone, welcome to this uh, press day at the new National Museum. My name is Eirik Hudland and I'm the Director of Communications. We're really happy to see you here today and we're uh, looking forward to presenting you the new, this new museum. I will give some practical information before Director Karin Hinsbo and Director of Collections Stina Högqvist will uh, give a presentation of the new museum. So, you've all gotten this program, hopefully. Uh, there's a QR code down here where you can download a press kit with uh, information, background, and also pictures. Um, we also have a workstation in the Grand Hall, just outside here, uh, where you can sit and work. And there will also be uh, one of my colleagues and one photographer uh, present there uh, the whole day the entire day, and they will help you to get information, to get hold of the right persons to, to speak to, and also get the photos that you need. Um, so now the, the exhibitions are already open. So after this presser, you can feel free to just move around in the, all the exhibition areas. Uh, around in the exhibition, you will meet several of our colleagues, curators, educators, people that have been working with the exhibitions. They all are wearing a colorful button like this. So please just grab them, ask them questions, and talk to them. Um, there will be uh, a couple of short guided tours. Uh, there are one at 11 o'clock. I know that a lot of you already are booked for that one. And there will be another one 12 o'clock and 1 o'clock. To register for these tours, you have to me, uh, talk to my colleague in the Grand Hall. Architect Klaus Schuwerk is also here today, and he will um, uh, give two tours at 12 and 2 o'clock. There's a sign out in the, in the vestibule where you can meet up for these tours, and he will show you the museum. Um, the, the library and the shop is open today, uh, but the cafe are not, the cafes are not open, but there will be a lunch served at uh, half past 12. Uh, I also want to mention that for the opening 11th of June, there will be a museum guide, uh, an app you can download, or, and you can get the tablet here at the museum, and this will include audio guide, maps, and different tours. Uh, this uh, app is unfortunately not ready today, but it will be available next week for the visitors. So after this uh, presser, there will be, um, we don't do questions and interviews here, but a lot of us are outside and around in the museum, so please ask us questions. And if you'd like interviews with Director Karin Hinsbo, uh, she will be in the in this, uh, big room upstairs, in this, uh, and uh, together with my colleague, she will do interviews there, and you can uh, book an interview with her from 11 o'clock and throughout the day. All right, I think that's it, and uh, Karin, please. Good morning, or maybe it's not really morning anymore, but uh, good day to you all. And uh, I'm so pleased to welcome you all to the new National Museum. In just one week, on the 11th of June, we invite Norway and the world to enter the new home of Norway's largest art collection. With this new building, Norway has a world-class museum. We are allowed to say that ourselves, right? <laughs> the architect Klaus Schuwerk has designed a modern museum with classic qualities. It is built with beautiful and solid materials meant to last for several centuries. It is a museum that enables us to show more of the collection than ever before. With galleries for temporary exhibitions, in entirely new formats and on an international scale. This is also a museum that allows us to invite public, the public to participate in activities and creative endeavors and to engage with art in far more ways than were possible 
in our former premises. The new National Museum represents a historic investment in art and culture in Norway. In our times, national museums are rarely built from scratch. So why do we need a new national museum in 2022? First and foremost, we have needed a building that gives us the best possible condition to fulfill our mission, which is to develop, administer, do research on, and exhibit Norway's largest collection of art, architecture, and design, and to facilitate the public's engagement with it. At the National Museum, we take care uh, of, the, of Norway's cultural heritage, but we also collect and preserve art for future generations. Our mission is to ensure that visitors in a hundred years can come close up to the brush strokes in Harriet Bakker's blue interior, that they can experience the vibrant colors in the nearly thousand year old Baldisol tapestry and understand more about the past through the art that was created in the 2020s. Such possibilities must not be taken for granted. We have been reminded of this with the ravages of war in Ukraine for the past months, where cultural building has also been targeted. A nation's cultural heritage is its memory and identity. When you attack that, you also attack society and the people who live in it. Museums also have other crucial functions for the individual and for society. Research shows that museums have a unique credibility. People tend to trust museums and the knowledge that we communicate. Um, and museums even score higher than schools, universities, and books in this respect. We must work hard to maintain this credibility by developing knowledge about the collection and by striving to be relevant to a widely diverse audience. In a culture where visual imagery, uh, imagery is ubiquitous, where pictures are constantly shared and used, but also abused and manipulated, a museum is an important place for critical thinking and discussions about the power of images. Visual competence can be critical preparedness. By seeing examples of visual cultures of earlier societies, we can more readily see how our own age is visually shaped. In this regard, museums hold a unique competence that is more important now than ever before. But museum can also offer relaxation, silence, and reflection. A museum can be a place with a different pace than we experience in our everyday digitalized world. It can knowledge, it can nourish our imagination and inspire us to be creative. Our vision at the National Museum is to make art accessible to each and every person and to reflect our times and the society in which we live. If we succeed in doing so, we believe the museum can be the most important meeting place in society.
And now to the collection. The collection is at the core of everything we do at the museum. The National Museum was established between uh, 2003 and 2005 with the merger of five institutions. The National Gallery, the Museum of Decorative Arts and Design, the Museum of Architecture, uh, uh, the Museum of Contemporary Art, and the state program for traveling exhibition called Riksutstillinger in Norwegian. The collection of art, architecture, and design includes all of these different fields and consists of 400,000 objects, of which around 6,500 will be on display here in the new museum. So I hope you have a lot of time today. The display of the collection is mainly organized chronologically and is spread throughout 86 rooms on two floors. On the first floor, you will find design and crafts from antiquity and up to today. On the second floor, mainly uh, contains fine art from the Renaissance and to today. At the center of the collection display is the human being, both today and in history. It shows how art architecture and design have played part in shaping society. Architects and designers shape our lives through the house we inhabit and the objects that fill our homes. Designers affect how we encounter our democratic institutions, for instance, through the design of ballots and ballot boxes. Contemporary art can raise critical questions about society and ideas about the nation and identity. You'll find examples of all this in our collection display. Here we present the distinctive features of Norwegian art, architecture and design up through history in dialogue with key international works from the collection. This sheds light on Norway's place in the world and gives light into various perception about Norwegian identity. In the displays, connections are established between the different areas of the collection, both within and across historical periods. 17 curatorial teams from the museum have created a visual an architectural framework for the works in close collaboration with the Italian exhibition designers from Ghirardini and Magni Architecti. Each room has a theme that places each work in an art historical context, but which also creates connections to the time in which the given work was made. All works of art architecture and design are made by and for people and were once contemporary. The collection display is permanent, but it's not static. It is dynamic in the sense that some works may be swapped for others and there's room for new perspectives and narratives. We will give our collection historical context, but also reflect our times and society. Throughout the collection display, you will find various activities in which you can participate or which enable you to immerse yourself in the works or ideas. There are benches with activity cards relating to artworks visual subject matter or themes in the galleries, philosophical cards that spur wonder and dialogue, screen with films that give the works a history and context, and interactive activities that invite to participation. The goal has been to give visitors several pathways into the experience and interpretation of 
artworks. So now we finally open the new National Museum. Last autumn, the new Monk Museum opened. In 2020, the Deichmann Library, a public library opened. There are many museums and galleries for art in and around Oslo. Examples being Sistefors Museum, Astro Fernley Museum, Hinje Onstad Art Center, Egebeck Sculpture Park, and a plethora of galleries and venues. Such places draw the eyes of the world to Norway. Oslo and Norway as a whole have gained renewed importance as destinations for art and culture. Now, Norway are now the, at the center of a historical investment in arts and culture. These are exciting times, and it starts now. I hereby give the word to Stina. Thanks, Karin. So now I have the glasses on and the goosebumps are up. Um, because this is, like Colin said, this is a very historical day. We're very happy and proud. Uh, um, we'd like to say congr congratulations, Norway. <laughs> it's a really historical moment. So I'm going to say a few words about the, um, what you will see today, like the exhibitions and also some bits about the upcoming program. And like Karin said, the collection is the heart of the museum. And in addition to the collection, the National Museum will have a rich program of temporary exhibitions of Norwegian and international art, architecture and design, not only older, but also modern and contemporary. And this winter, we announced the upcoming exhibition program with names such as Louis Bourgeois, Frida Kahlo, and Mark Rothko. But for the opening, we direct our attention to the contemporary art that is created here and now in Norway. You will find it in the inaugural exhibition, I call it Art, which is in the light hall. And the exhibition presents works by 147 artists and artist groups who work in Norway today. And one premise for selecting artists was that none of them were already represented by works in the museum's collection. And this exhibition is completely different from the collection display and raises questions about what has been outside of the museum's field of vision and why. What is good art and who decides? Around two thirds of the works in this exhibition were selected through an open call process. And many are made by artists who were unknown to the curators beforehand. I call it art has already triggered debate, even though no one has seen it yet. Uh, and there will surely be new debates about the works that have been selected, how the museum has worked with the exhibition, and how the exhibition is designed. The light hall is a fantastic space. It's really magnificent. And it's a unique, unique exhibition space with a seven meter ceiling height and glass walls on which we can't hang artworks. <laughs> but it looks good. In this first exhibition, we have really tested the challenges and possibilities of this space. Works hang from the ceiling and are placed on posts. And the artist, Guru Tronsmo, has built a large installation that you can walk inside and on top of, and which also functions as exhibition architecture for other artists' works. And even the roof terrace has been used for the show. And you're lucky it's not raining today, so you can be out there in the sun. <laughs> the exhibition also takes place on other platforms. I call it art includes publications, performances, concerts, and film screenings. We specif specifically geared the exhibition design and the le learning and engagement program towards visitors between 19 and 24 years of age. But we also have an exhibition designed especially towards children and families. East of the Sun and West of the Moon is on display in the museum's space for temporary exhibitions of prints and drawings on the second floor. 
The National Museum has 50,000 prints and drawings from the 15th century up until today. We also have a research room for prints and drawings where visitors can experience works up close. And it's open today, so you can have your first experience in this space today. In East of the Sun and West of the Moon, you can see a selection of drawings made almost 150 years ago to illustrate Norwegian folk, ta folk tales, along with some fairy tale drawings made in our own time. This is a unique opportunity to see Erik Verenskjöld's and Theodor Kittelsen's original drawings of trolls and other famous fairy tale characters. During the exhibition peri period, there will be fairy tale readings, drag storytelling, and other things as well. And the exhibition design is made with children in mind. On the museum's second floor, you will also find the pillars, the Fredriksson family collection. The room is adjacent to the contemporary art galleries and present works created by pioneering international artists who, for the most part, have not been represented in the National Museum before. And with works by artists such as Lee Krasner, George O'Keefe, Agnes Martin, Sheila Hicks, Simone Lee, and Lynette Yadon Boakir. The exhibition expands the museum's narratives, narratives about our own times and the recent past. And several artists represented in the exhibition struggled for a long time to gain recognition. For some, it was because they had the wrong gender, like myself, sexual orientation, or cultural background. For others, it was because they worked with artistic strategies that broke with established norms. The time frame for these works ranges over almost a century, from the 1920s to today. The museum has a long-term perspective on the pillars. The exhibition design is simple and allows for quick rehangs. So we, it will be an exhibition in flux. The works on display here are from the collection of Katrina and Cecilia Fredriksson and they represent only part of the National Museum's collaboration with these sisters. The collaboration also includes a series of exhibitions in which international artists will be commissioned to create site-specific exhibitions for the Light Hall. And the first exhibition that you can look forward to <laughs> in the series is by Laura Provost and will open in November this year. And I've seen the drawings and I know the plans and you have to come back to see it, it will be amazing. The collaboration with Katrina and Cecilia Fredriksson also includes a scholarship program. And we also have uh, workshops open today that you can go and explore. One is in the basement, the digital work workshop, and then there's another one upstairs. So yeah, so welcome to explore the museum and enjoy. Karin. I'm just going to repeat what you said, uh, Stina. So uh, you are more than welcome to go and explore the museum. Uh, as I said uh, in the beginning, we have so been looking forward to opening our doors uh, to you all. We hope uh, that you'll have a lot of, uh, you have a good time, you'll have a lot of reactions, debates and discussions may arise. So welcome to you all and I hope you'll have a great day.